Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In today's video, it's kind of what's in the box, but it's also kind of a, just an unboxing. I got some Cromarty models in from Plastic Soldier Company. I'm excited to see what they're all about. And this is the package I got in. I haven't opened it up yet. I've, un I've cut it open, but I haven't actually opened it up yet. I'd like to see what these models look like. And I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of show you guys what I'm discovering. All right, so let's get into this. Interesting packaging already. Okay, there's my there's my invoice there, looks like. Uh, okay. It says there's a note here because I part of the reason why I ordered these was for the marching camps. Um, but it says the Roman marching camp is out and the open and the full. They're both out. And they gave me a note here saying that they were sorry that they were having a hard time producing those. So they gave me a refund for those items. Which is okay. <clears throat> I understand. No hard feelings. But that is why I ordered it. Because <laughs> as you guys know, uh, I ordered some the marching camps so that I could do um, the last couple of chapters of the Meg boot camp. Okay. These are Cromarty Forge boxes. It says excellent minis. So let's just take these out so I can get this beautiful box out of the way. Interesting box design. It's just a box. <clears throat> Might have to change my glasses. Okay, that's just filler. Okay. Roman cavalry. Numidian Light Cavalry, Cromarty 12. Yeah, that should be the Numidian. Light Cav. And this is Roman Cavalry number eight. Okay. Definitely tell that they're 3D printed. 3D print. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all the boxes. Get them out. Get it if they're all packaged like this. Principe standing. Something's taped on there. Okay, let's start off with just one pack. In this pack, it looks like you get some Shields, brown shields, what are these called? Scutums. 
3D printed, so I should just be able to snip them off with my snippers. Yeah, we're gonna have to do it the old way where I change the focus to the camera. And then we take a close up look. Okay, there's a lot of 3D printed lines coming off these models. But just looking at the model, trying to look beyond that uh, 3D print, they look pretty damn good. Okay, trying to get a scale here. Looks like maybe a 16 millimeter, which is perfectly fine. Might even be, yeah, that's to the commander. Yeah, it looks like 16 millimeter, which is perfectly fine. That'll work great in my armies. Yeah, we'll get a close up of all these once I get a, once I take a look at them. Four scorpions in this pack. <coughs> really good. And each one has five crew. That's a lot. We'll take a look at those as well. Man, the command is a lot of variety. At least five coronets. At least four standards. Got this one general with a spear. It's really good. And then this has got like a bear, not a wolf. Guy looks like he's got a cat, but these guys look like they're bears. That might be a wolf back there. And their crests and flags and standards. Every one of those models is different. Pretty happy with that. Let me rephrase that. I'm very happy with that. These would be for the standards. There's eight of these for generals. All right here are the slingers. Twelve of them. They're all carrying flowing capes. Every one of them's different. Well, maybe not. But they're well. Yep. Every. Yeah. Yeah. Those are beautiful. Okay, this is the Numidian Light Cav. Looks like their horses are like this to try to get more on a smaller area. Guys are horse weapon. They're all mounted. They're all, it's all one piece.
just got to be careful when you're snipping them and you're trimming them off this 3D print base. And then there's their 12 shields that I guess you would add. They're all carrying javelins. Boy, these guys look, and they're clean too. I mean, we'll get to see better when I do a zoom, but I don't see any 3D print mold lines. So, quality is up there, it looks like. All right, and this is the Roman cab. Oh yeah, these guys look good. It's also one mold, spear. The only difference is, I mean, it's not a difference. The only thing you have to glue on are these shields. Snip them off, glue them on. You get 18 of them. Six bases. Spears look beautiful. Tails of the horses. The accoutrements. Oh my gosh, I'm very impressed. All right, we'll have to zoom in on those. Take a look at those as well. Okay, now this came as two blisters. Principes. This could very easily be used. Dang. Yeah, these guys could easily be used as maybe legionaries. I don't see any command built into these guys. They all look very similar, like they're all just standing there with their pylums. But when you add this, you get eight command. Four horns? No standards. There's 32 right there, and there's eight right there. So there's 40 models. Whew. There's 32 shields, that would be for those guys. And then there's their eight shields for those guys. Okay, now this set, <coughs> their shields came in a Ziploc. All right, now this command for these Principes have four standards and a bunch of generals. five generals on this one so I could mix these standards with those standards and or I should say these standards with those coronets and these guys are all in wild poses 
These guys are with swords. Gladius. Mixed around. Can't count them as easy as I counted the other ones. Okay, I only count 27 here. Twenty-eight, <clears throat> thirty-six. Yeah, there's less on the swords. Thrusting, blocking, parrying. Alright, okay, so let me adjust my camera so that we can zoom in on some of these and see exactly what they look like up close. Alright, now let's pull up some Roman command from the attacking package. I'm going to be zipping through these because I feel like this video has gone on quite a bit of time and I'm getting short of breath. See, that looks like a bear to me. This is the attacking. See their arms and swords and gladiuses and they're all in different poses. And this is the command group from the principes that were just standing. See that's guy that guy's got a spear. Different plumes and a bunch of coronets on this one. And this is the sprue of the shields. Basically, million to one. That's the back side of the shields. Quite a bit of detail. All right, and the slingers. Roman cavalry. You can see how they're all on one big sprue. And the front side. Uh, 
and these were done in a not a I wouldn't say hard plastic but definitely not the soft plastic resin stuff Command, bunch of different types of commands, standards and musicians, all different kinds of crests. Standard styles. All right, this is the Ballista and Crew. It's the Ballista. And then there's the Five Crew. Bolts in a basket. The Numidian Cavalry. Their weird haircuts. Pack them in tightly. You can see that the quality of the 3D printing is top tier. Yeah, this says Roman generals on the packaging, but it just looks like unit commanders. They're not mounted or anything on a horse. Love the eagle. All right, guys. That was the Cromarty order that I got in. And it's really just a, uh, a selection of some of their <clears throat> units that they have. I got them in because I wanted to see what the quality of the models were. And to see if they were worth, you know, pursuing. And it looks like they are. It looks like um, I'm really impressed with the details. Uh, downside, they're obviously 3D printed, right? Because of their bases are all still stuck on <clears throat> the base of the 3D printer like that. You know, but that's okay because that can all be cut off. And then I would have to trim up all. There'd be a, basically a lot of trim of the 3D flash. They also have kind of an interesting way of packaging them. They put a little piece of hot glue down, put the full sprue in, and... That way it keeps it from moving around and keeps, and because it's all one piece, keeps them protected. I think that's a pretty, that's, that's pretty nice. But 
I would have expected them to be cleaned, not not like flash removed, but I would have expected them to be in smaller sprues or something like that. Um, but this way works well too. It was just a surprise. It's not a positive or a negative. It's just it was just surprising. Um, if I was to have to say if I was going to recommend these models. I would say I'd recommend these models. Only downside that I personally have, well, they don't have a very large line, for one thing. Uh, it's very Imperial Roman um, or mid-Republican. They don't have the, they don't have the Camillan Romans, but that's okay. I'm sure that'll come in, in time. Um, The Principes attacking, I only got 38 models. The Principes standing, I got like 40 models or something like that. So when I do the edit, I'll check the website to make sure that it's supposed to be one way or the other. And if it's somewhere down the middle, then we can say that some of the command is part of the other packaging which might be because one of the commands came taped on the side so thanks for coming out and watching this video and remember i'm struggling with the the virus if you want to help support the channel hit the paypal me link in the description below or you can hit the donate button or if you would like, just put a prayer out for me because I'm struggling, I'm out of breath, and the show must go on. All right, I'll see you in the next video.